All right, hello, Black Student Union. Thank you very much for allowing us to come speak to you today. My name is John Jensen. I am the current Vice President of Whitewater Student Government, and this is Danielle Jordan. And I'm the current Student Affairs Director for Whitewater Student Government. And on February 13th, we announced our candidacy for President and Vice President of Whitewater Student Government. So that's why we're here today, is because we're running. Uh, what I want to try to do is try and earn your guys' votes. I'm not the kind of person who goes out and says, hey, vote for me. I'm going to say, here's why you should vote for me, and I hope that you really, really uh, agree with the things I'm going to say, and that you'll go out on March 20th and 21st and vote for Danielle and I. So first I want to start off with a question which might seem completely irrelevant, but who can tell me who this guy is? Nelson, Nelson Mandela. Mandela, thank you very much. Uh, Nelson Mandela is one of my personal heroes. Um, he has some great quotes and that's one of the things that I really like about him. The first time that I heard about Nelson Mandela was when I was in seventh grade. Thank God I got rid of these highlights. <laughs> um, but I was sitting in my seventh grade history class, and Mr. Sulik, I won't forget this, tells us to turn the page. And I turn the page, and I see this guy on the page. I've never seen him before. I had just transferred to public school. They didn't teach us very much uh, history, world history stuff in uh, my first school. But um, we saw a picture of Nelson Mandela on the page, and the first thing I thought after I came back from zoning was, they ever make a movie about this guy? I really hope Morgan Freeman plays him. <laughs> <laughs> And then I went back to zoning out like a good seventh grader. But last year in historical perspectives class, I had to go see two movies. One of the movies that I went to see was Invictus, which is about the 1995 Rugby World Cup in South Africa. If you haven't seen this movie, you need to go see it. It's truly one of the most inspirational movies that I've ever seen. After I went to see this movie, I did three things. The first thing I did was I bought a South Africa Springboks t-shirt. <laughs> I bought and read Nelson Mandela's autobiography, Long Walk to Freedom, and I learned the poem verbatim that gets the title of that movie. It's, out of the night that covers me, black as the pit from pole to pole, I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. In the fell clutch of circumstance, I have not winced nor cried aloud, and in the bludgeoning of chance, my head is bloody but unbowed. Beyond this place of wrath and tears looms but the horror of the shade, and where the menace of the years finds and shall find me unafraid. It matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishment the scroll. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. Now, some of that might seem completely irrelevant to my campaign, but there is one section of this poem that is completely relevant to UW Whitewater and why I'm running for president. And that's the idea that we need to be nothing but unconquerable. We have a football team that cannot be beat. Our wheelchair basketball team is one of the best in the world, if not the best. And there is no reason that anything here at UW-Whitewater shouldn't be unconquerable, including our black student union, including our academics, and including Whitewater student government. This is one of my favorite quotes from Nelson Mandela, and it's, if you talk to a man in a language he understands, that goes to his head. If you talk to a man in his language, that goes to his heart. So add that to your quotes for the day for today so you get three of them. And what I'm really hoping to do is when I go through my campaign platform is that it's really going to speak to who you are as a student. It's going to speak in the language of a student of UW-Whitewater. And you're going to like what I have to say. Uh, our goals is to increase involvement. Uh, right now we have about a 50% uh, student involvement rate, which is pretty good for a university. Most of them are at about 20 to 30%. I still want to see that go up. I want to see at least an 80%, which is probably not completely realistic, but I live in a perfect little world, so I hope that happens. The second thing is increased diversity advocacy on, advocacy on campus. Uh, I want to see students from all different backgrounds getting involved in all of the organizations on campus, whether that's Whitewater Student Government or SEAL or any organization on campus, I want to see every background represented. I want to bridge the gap between students and faculty on campus. Uh, Ms. Jordan has been working very hard this semester on a project called the Teacher Voice Project, which is mirroring a project that the Student Affairs Department did at the administrative level. And what we're trying to do is we're going to, trying to find out what uh, stu uh, teachers want from students and what we're going to do is we're going to put together focus groups and we've already done one version of this and we're going to put together a packet for students at uh, Planet Purple and Club UW to show them how to effectively work with their uh, teachers and their professors. 
And the next thing is seek, seek student opinion. Right now, all we really do is we go out, we talk to our friends, some of us come and speak to student organizations like this, and we try to get as much feedback as we can. Well, what I want to start doing is I want to start doing online polls, I want to start doing focus groups with students, I want to get every student on this uh, campus heard so that we're representing them in the best way possible. I want to increase political involvement. Uh, right now, well, especially next semester when uh, Danielle and mine's term would start if you would uh, elect us, there's going to be a presidential election and we really want to make sure that 100% of the student body knows about it, knows where to vote, knows how to vote. And I'm really glad that you guys brought up uh, how to vote here on campus earlier at the beginning of the meeting. So that's one thing that I really want to focus on. Um, advocate for uh, non-traditional students. Non-trad students are typically a uh, population on campus that aren't well represented and we want to put together focus groups. Like I said, I want to sit down with non-traditional students. I want to find out what their needs are just like any traditional student. And then keep tuition as low as possible. Now, 5.5% increases every year, that, that can be pretty tough. And in these economic times, keeping student fees as low as possible is, is a top priority. Uh, WSG has hold about $300 worth of your student tuition, and we saw it go up 7.6% this year. Uh, last year, I believe it was around 10 to 11%. At maximum, I want those fees to go up at most 4%. My ideal increase is 0% because of the 5.5% increase coming from the Board of Regents, but 4% would, would make me happy at the end of the day. And the idea that I'm most excited for is a student chamber of commerce. Uh, we were approached by uh, CEO to put this together and kind of lend ourselves to uh, student businesses and alumni businesses to allow them to have access to our uh, organization status here on campus. So they'd be able to get cheaper advertising on campus, they'd be able to reserve tables, they'd be able to put up posters more easily. And it's really something that we want to do. It's something that would really help out students, especially students who have their own business. Um, so why us is a question that always gets asked. asked. The first thing, experience. Uh, I've been serving on Whitewater Student Government for two years now. The first year I spent as a senator, Danielle served as a senator at the same time. This year I've spent serving as the Vice President and Danielle's been our Student Affairs Director. So uh, there's probably not going to be a candidate in this election that has more experience with Whitewater Student Government than Danielle and I. Uh, the second thing is leadership. That obviously comes out of the first thing. Uh, Patrick Johnson and I, the current President, uh, had to run last year to get these positions. So we've proven ourselves uh, to be leaders on campus and uh, we really want to continue that sort of thing. Uh, communication, one of the main jobs of the president and vice president is to communicate with university administration. Uh, Patrick Johnson and I sit down with Chancellor Telfer on almost a bi-weekly basis, uh, uh, Provost Copper, and we've even sat down and had dinner uh, with UW System President Kevin Riley. Um, so communication is a really key thing with making sure that student voice is heard, and our administration here at Whitewater is fantastic, top notch. They always want to hear what students have to say. And the fourth thing is dedication. Uh, like I said, Danielle and I put in 10 hours of uh, work each week in the office. We spend another hour or two in uh, meetings in this room on Monday nights at 7 p.m. We have e-board meetings. We meet with students on a weekly basis. We meet with administrators on a weekly basis. So at the end of the week, it turns out to be a 30-hour job. And we really want to be able to continue doing this to make sure that we're representing students in the best way possible. So how can you help us? Well, you can like our Facebook page and share it. I have some quarter sheets that I'm going to pass out uh, when I'm done speaking, so you guys can just scan our QR code on there, and it'll take you right to our Facebook page. Second thing is spread the word. Let other people know that there's an election on March 20th and 21st. Let them know that hopefully you support John Jensen and Danielle Jordan. At the very least, let them know that there's an election. And the most important thing, make sure to vote on March 20th and 21st. Uh, you just go online to uww.edu slash join, and the uh, link will be right there. You'll also get an email on the first day of elections and on the second day of elections to let you know that there's a poll open. Uh, thank you guys very much. If you have any questions, I can either take them right now or... Will it be or that is over, like, kind of... WSG last year and has been working for a number of years, actually, to implement online voting. Uh, we had our first test with Senate elections in the fall. This will be the first presidential election. Uh, we've tried it on homecoming, too, and it, it had a big increase. Um, so it's all going to be online this year. You can do it from the convenience of your uh, residence hall or your apartment or house, wherever you live.
Oh yeah, there are absentee ballots. Um, if you want to get one of those, all you have to do is contact the election chair. His name is Adam Grassnickel. Uh, if you have a question, you can either find me and ask, or uh, Samantha McFarland is our current university services director, so she has that information as well. And then I have uh, some promotional Frisbees. Um, I brought five of them. Does anyone want one? <laughs> Oh, it's coming back. Oh. <laughs>